So problem number 32 of section 1.6.1 uh, gives us a function that's modeling the height of a rocket uh, above its launch pad at sea level at, after um, in meters, t, uh, t seconds after its launch. So first question we're asked is what is, what is its velocity at time t equals 10? So well, the velocity is the derivative of the position function. So we want to find uh, y prime of t which is going to be 2 times 4.9, or 9.8t, plus 3 times 0.1667t squared. Uh, and this will be the velocity at time t. Now we want to find out what's velocity at time 10. Well, that will be equal to 9.8 times 10, or 98, plus 3 times 0 0.1667 times 10 squared, which is 100. So it will give us 98 plus 3 times 16.67, which is approximately 98 plus 48, this is approximately 16 and 2 thirds, so we'll have 48 plus 2, uh, or 50. Uh, so this will give us uh, 148. And our units are in meters and seconds, so the velocity will be 148 meters per second. Now the second question is, the, what is the acceleration at time t equals 10? So the acceleration will be the uh, derivative of the velocity function, which velocity was 9.8t plus uh, is it 3 times 0.1667t squared. So the acceleration a of t will be the derivative of velocity, or 9.8t, or 9.8, excuse me, plus 2 times 3, 6, 0 0.1667 uh, times, or times t. Now, if we evaluate the acceleration at time 10, then we have 9.8 plus, we substitute uh, 10 for t, so we have 6 times 1.667 uh, uh, times 10, oh, yes, times 1 times 1.667, so 9.8 plus, now, uh, 1.667 is approximately uh, 1 and 2 thirds, or equivalently 2 thirds, that would be 5 thirds. We have 9.8 plus, we can cancel out here, 9.8 plus 10, or 19.8. Now acceleration will be measured, or the units of acceleration will be meters per second squared. And for the final part, we're asked to find uh, the jerk, which is the instantaneous rate of change of the acceleration and we're asked to evaluate it at time t. So the jerk j of t is equal to a prime of t 
which will be equal to, well, the derivative of the constant is just 0. Then we'll be left with 6 times 0 0.1667, uh, which is just a constant. So this will actually be the jerk at, um, at any time. So, um, excuse me, I'm, I skipped a part here. This is actually part D, the jerk at, at um, time 10 then will just be that same number. Now returning to part C where we were asked to find what at what time the acceleration of the rocket is twice that of gravity. Well, the acceleration at time t, if you recall, is 9.8 plus uh, 6 times 0 0.1667 times t. Now we want to know at what time is this twice that of gravity. So. We'll assume that this is equal to 2 times 9.8, which will then imply that 6 times 0 0.1667 t uh, subtract off 9.8 from both sides, and we get that t is equal to 9.8 over 6 times 0 0.1667. And this will be measured in seconds. I don't actually have the numerical value, but I'm certain that you'll have no problem uh, computing that yourself. So, and that